For the things you have done For the battles you have won Only you are worthy of my praise I magnify your name For the things you have done And the battles you have won Only you are worthy of my praise I magnify your name For the things you have done And the battles you have won Only you are worthy of my praise Wave your hands to Jesus and magnify him. Tell him thank you. Thank him in advance because you will never be the same. Now the Lord is that spirit. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. If someone give him quality thanks, thank you Jesus. Thank you for the testimonies. For his marvelous hand upon our lives this is but the finger of god for the revival fire blazing across our territories and the nations of the earth the spectacular display of his power and his wisdom give him thanks Give him thanks. And for tonight, can you cry out your heart, Lord, do not leave me the way I came. Someone pray. Someone pray. Let me not go back the way I came. Take away the burdens. Give me direction. Give me an encounter with your power. Let something from heaven rest upon my life upon my destiny set my ministry on fire change my story give me a turn around tonight someone is praying let there be healing over my body bring to end every long-standing issue let every age-long captivity bow to the name of jesus take away fear and unbelief from my life someone is praying let me enjoy the liberty that comes with your spirit tonight In the name of Jesus Christ. I can assure you and I know by the spirit tonight that someone's change of story is finally here. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every day cannot be the same in a man's life. There are, there are certain moments where you encounter the power and the grace of God and it will turn your life around. May this day be that day. The morning that the man at the pool, Bethesda, I'm sure he woke up that morning thinking it would be like every other day. Not knowing that was the last time he would lie down there. You woke up this morning believing it may be every other miracle service. But let me prophesy to you. In the name of Jesus, the son of the living God. May tonight be a spectacular night for you. May tonight be a spectacular night for you. Hallelujah. Why do we come to God? We'll sit down shortly, but why do we really come to God to encounter him like this? Number one, because we love him. But number two, because we know he is the only one who has the answers we are looking for. Let no man deceive you. Except God gives you, no man can give it to you. And I announce to you that this God is very benevolent and he will give you all things richly tonight. 
for someone god will arise this night and end circles in your life in the name of jesus christ for someone who have been saying god where are you you are about to hear him answer you tonight in the name of jesus christ that after this service everything around you will let you know he came to you in the name of jesus christ and every power in existence that will not let you receive from god we curse it in advance tonight in the name of jesus christ so please i like you to be full of faith and expectation it doesn't matter where you are seated whether you are in any of the overflows outside by the roadside following from any part of the world be intentional don't waste your time you have come to god are we together you have come to him to receive hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6 it says and without faith it is impossible to please him for he that cometh unto him must believe that he exists and then that he is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him hallelujah you won't go back the same there must be a change of story and God will visit you in a way that even before you announce it people will know something has changed in your life in the name of Jesus Christ there is a way God can visit you the Bible says when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion it was not them that were doing the speaking the Bible says the hidden said the Lord has done great things for them may God visit you in a way that is your enemies that will testify and for someone tonight weep not your crying comes to an end in the name of Jesus your crying comes to an end for another person the mockery comes to an end in the name of Jesus Christ Someone will know tonight that it pays to serve Jesus. I was very touched listening to the testimonies. And you can imagine the gentleman, the footballer, just crying. And do you know what it means for people to once laugh at you and then see the other side of God's goodness? May that be your testimony this night. Listen. If you didn't come here to receive, go home because for as long as you came here tonight, in the name of Jesus, the giver of all good things, is ensuring that something must land upon your life. Hallelujah. If you don't want to smell smoke, don't have anything to do with the kitchen. But for as long as you find yourself there, there must be something from heaven. In the name of Jesus, may it be clear that you met God tonight. So let hope, let it rise. Darkness trembles in your holy light. Let your faith arise tonight. Let hope rise. Darkness trembles in your holy light. One more time with faith in your spirit. Let hope rise. Darkness trembles in your holy In the name of Jesus, I welcome you to that service where your life must change. In the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the Living God, I know what God told me before I left home to come here. I assure you not one jot of his speakings will, will be missing from your life. I'm prophesying to you in the name of Jesus Christ. As he has said it, you will do it. As he has said it, you will do it. As he has said it, you will do it. Please be seated for a few minutes. With your faith still alive, with your heart still expectant, no gisting, no discussion, your eyes on Jesus, 
your heart angry at your situation, ready to insist that it must change. In the name of Jesus Christ. Miracle services are moments where we have the opportunity to experience the spectacular power of God in the midst of his people. Every service is a miracle service. But there are times designated according to God's program where he visits men and we're glad that tonight is that night in the name of Jesus. Now, as usual, we will pray for the sick, minister deliverance to the oppressed, but the focus tonight, there are two major areas of focus tonight as God gave me the place of prayer. Number one, this night is your finances. Number two is the greatness, the glory upon your life and destiny. My, my assignment tonight is to deal with these areas to make sure that except God be God, believe me, please help those under the anointing, believe me, if God be God, something will shift in these areas in your life tonight that will surprise you. Please believe it, oh, please believe it. I believe in results. I absolutely believe in results. Results have the power to convince. Results have the power to change the mindset of people. Results have the power to reveal. I wrote something about results here. Before we get into one scripture or the other, and then we allow God to open fire in this place tonight that things have to change in our lives for sure. Every time Jesus saw the absence of results, he caused that process, including the tree. When he saw that the tree had green leaves, but did not have figs, he caused it and said, let no man eat of you again. God is a God of results. I have taught us here that our results bring glory to the name of the Lord. In as much as the ultimate of our pursuit, the reason why we seek God and we desire encounters with him is primarily because we love him. But let me tell you this, no man should deceive you. If your life becomes indefinitely barren of results, you will be frustrated. Is that true? Results mean desired expectations. Result means solutions to problems. Result means outcomes of an expectation. Results talk about consequences. Results talk about the effect that you are expecting. But the two um, expressions that I love is desired expectations and solutions. We all have expectations in our lives, expectations that range from healings to supernatural interventions to supernatural provisions to advancement and enlargement in life, restoration, and God is able to make those desires come to pass according to Mark chapter 11 and verse 40, 40 um, verse 24 mark eleven twenty four. jesus was speaking and he said therefore i say unto you what things soever ye desire he says you shall have them no matter what it is that you desire god is able to give men the desires of their hearts whatsoever things ye desire you shall have them And as we have learned here, the agency that sponsors the actualization of desires. Please pay attention. This will be the foundation of building for building your faith tonight. The agency that sponsors the actualization of every desire is the power of God. Without the power of God, desires will remain dreams. Without the power of God, desires will remain wishes. It takes the power of God to translate desires from the realm of wishes, expectations, 
to the realm of their manifestation God finds joy when believers see his hand or when his creation really but more importantly believers God finds joy when believers experience his hand his goodness his power the Bible lets us know that every time there is a manifestation of the power of God there will always be joy joy is the result of the experiencing the outstretched arm of God according to Acts chapter 8 from verse I think 7 now or 8 when Philip preached Christ the Bible says they they gave heed hearing and seeing the things that he did verse 8 the Bible says and the people with one accord go to verse 8 there was great joy in that city there can be great joy in your life great joy in your destiny great joy in your family to the degree that there is a performance a manifestation of your expectation hallelujah even the bible says that when hope is deferred it can make the heart weary i wrote something down here everything god says and desires for the believer has a requisite level of empowerment to make it happen everything god says should happen to your life everything god says would happen to your life is not just dependent on his speaking is dependent on your accessing the requisite level of power that brings it to manifestation hallelujah now in this part of the world there are times where the power holding company or maybe your generator can it can bring light but the voltage can be too low to power certain gadgets is that true and so you find out that there is light but the gadgets that require lesser voltage they may come up but certain heavy duty gadgets may not be able to come up because there is a greater level of power required there are certain things in your life that will require higher levels of the power of god to be made manifest are we together so everything god says and desires for the believer has a requisite level of empowerment for it to happen the power of God works like money currency if you have a hundred naira a hundred naira might be able to buy you a bottle of water a hundred naira might be able to buy you something small or let's say a thousand naira might be able to buy you a bottle of water but a thousand naira might not be able to buy you a car a thousand naira might not be able to pay for a house rent or buy you a house so if it is a house you are looking for or a car you are looking for in this example you will need multiples of that amount to match the amount that can buy you that house it is true that every house you are looking for is available or can be built depending on the amount of financial empowerment in this example those there are people in our world who are called very wealthy people why are they wealthy they are wealthy first because of their mindset and they are wealthy because of their understanding of the laws and the systems that govern finances but more importantly pragmatically speaking they are wealthy because they have the financial wherewithal is that true to be able to afford living the kind and the level of life that suits them and so a man can decide for instance that he wants to build a house in his village he wants to decide or he can decide that he wants to buy a house in europe buy a house in america and at the instance of his decision if he has the requisite level of financial empowerment that man can go and pick it up in this example i'm giving but there's someone who may look and say i desire a greater house say i'm staying in a two-bedroom flat i desire to move to say a four-bedroom flat to afford greater comfort you know and stability for my family that person has the desire and the house he wants to move to is there but the financial requirement to promote that person from where he is to the place of desire is not there man of god 
you are trusting God for increase increase in revelation increase in impact increase in membership the desire is there and that possibility is there the word of God tells us that that possibility is there however do you have the empowerment enough to produce that outcome apostle I desire for men to favor me men to stand like the gentleman who just spoke one person at the field meeting one destiny helper and his life changed he's found himself now in europe playing and being paid in foreign currencies is what god can do but the requisite level of power do not downplay the ministry of power it is what sponsors the actualization of all desires all desires all desires with no exception if you meet some of the wealthy people today in our nation extremely wealthy people um they can sit down and discuss that we want to build a house for someone and get architects and say in two months or in three months or in four months i want this house built and while they are talking the architects listen to them because they know that there are no limitations the intellectual power is already there and the financial wherewithal is there there should be no limitation whatsoever can I tell you, it's dangerous and frustrating to know what should be, but not have the power to make it happen. I know my life should change, but the power to make it happen is not there. I know destiny helpers can come to me. But the power to make it happen is not there. I know I can be free from the influence of this wicked spirit that keep programming bad luck to my life. But the power is not there. Tonight God has come to place power upon your desire. In the name of Jesus Christ. Back to my example. So if I meet a gentleman who now says, I want to build a house maybe for my parents i love them i have the desire i have even gone as far as meeting an architect here is the plan i even have gone as far as having a land a plot of land or some plots of land but it's just the financial empowerment in this example imagine that a man looks at that gentleman and signs him a check or does him a transfer of 50 million naira right there and then what has he given him the ability to turn his dreams to reality now that gentleman can rejoice a few minutes ago he was stranded a few minutes at the instance of a transfer from a wealthy man remember the transfer has to be from the person who has it the transfer cannot be from the person who does not have it from the person who has it to the person who needs it and then that man will receive it and call the architects and by the very next day they start digging and building within a few months you see a beautiful structure at the instance of empowerment whatever is stopping you from going forward whatever is making you keep repeating prayer requests you write again you write again you write again may the power of the holy spirit bring that issue to an end now in the name of jesus christ please sit down again in this side of the world we experience sadly periodic blackouts is that true whether your gadget is new or not once there is no power it is as good as dead your fridge your electronics all other gadgets are at the mercy of the power that flows to the voltage required so there are times that people can go 24 hours sadly sometimes 48 hours and there's no blink of light except you have an alternative system and sometimes if you have a generator and your generator is small you have to off certain things to allow it stand is that true the size and the voltage matters 
so if you want a generator that can power everything in your house you get some technician to calculate for you the total voltage needed and then you go and get a generator that is by far more than the voltage now you can own everything and run the generator from morning till night there are times you own a generator that can only take one television you add any other thing it will shout outside and stop are we together and yet in the midst of that darkness there are people and there are homes that have never had light blink once in this city in this nation there are regions that have never seen a blackout in fact there are children that if there is a ever a blackout they will run away because they wonder what suddenly happened within the same region there was light in goshen and there was darkness in egypt the difference is power the difference is power everything God says and everything God desires for the believer has a requisite level of power or empowerment to make it happen I define here the power of God as an ability that causes you to get results the power of God is the ability that causes you to get results the the ability that translates dreams and desires to their manifestation this is very important you cannot imagine what happens in your life where certain dimensions of god's power comes upon you and their possibilities begin to manifest in your life the bible says let your light so shine before men that they may see your good deeds and glorify your father which is in heaven i believe in results i truly believe in results as consolations to our christian experience i have taught you here about loving jesus and giving him everything and loving him beyond things and that remains true but let me tell you something nobody will be indefinitely committed to anything and anyone without an advantage that you derive from that person is that true yes sir even for our relationship with jesus christ he didn't just give us this illusion you just serve me and continue there are benefits the psalmist said bless the lord oh my soul help me please and forget not his benefits there are benefits i know you love nigeria i know you love the government but when you go to work at the end of the month you you don't no matter what it's not just thank you your boss will tell you there is a salary that is a measure of your value or the at, at least the ability of the corporation to reward you and then they give you something you go back rejoicing there are preachers who go to preach we go to preach because we love jesus but at the end of it people will package something small and say thank you for coming there are consolations and there are benefits to serving and knowing god and if you have not received yours it must land on you this night in the name of jesus christ apostle i love god for who he is congratulations that's a good foundation but a foundation alone does not produce a house you need a foundation and a proper building people sometimes don't even see the foundation you can't renovate a foundation a foundation remains strong there but you need to build something on it people will not live on the foundation is the building people need to see tokens consolations to your christian experience i'm getting your spirit fired up to be angry with your current level so that when we arise to pray you must cry like jabez and say lord change my story nothing will change for as long as you forbear with your current level everybody shout results shout it again shout results one genuine result in the bible one genuine result in acts chapter 3 they saw the man at gate beautiful and peter said silver and gold i do not have but such as i have give i unto you in the name of Jesus of Nazareth, rise up and walk.
the bible says the man got up and walked in acts chapter 4 they had to summon them because the ripple effect of that result he went all over the town and they called them and when the man went peter went with his testimony standing by him and while he was speaking the result was there shout it again say result your evangelism is powerful if your result is standing with you your advancement is powerful if your result is standing with you and now well i went to i i prayed preparing for this miracle service i always will pray and ask the lord for the area of focus I don't just want to carelessly come and waste your time you know i've told you i love you and i honor you and i respect you too much to just arrive and come and say let's pray no i must pray and say lord what do you desire for your people to have because his power goes where his word goes so if you don't find out where his word is going you cannot find where his power is and the lord told me specifically these two areas first chronicles chapter 29 and verse 12 someone's life is about to change read it as loud as you can ready one to read both riches and honor come from you and thou reignest over all and in thy hand is power and might in thy hand it is to make great and to give strength to all where does riches and honor come from can I tell you, it is possible to have riches and not have honor. What does it mean to have honor? To have honor means to be regarded and to be rewarded to match your true worth. If honor is not at work in your life, you will be underestimated and undervalued. Are we together? The perception that people have about you will not match the true perception. Because Solomon had honor. When the queen of Sheba came to him and she saw everything, she said, half of this was not told me. Keep that scripture there, please. 29, 12. Both riches and honor come from you. And thou reignest over them. It says, in your hand is power and might. How many of you believe in prosperity? Don't feel bad if you don't believe. That's all right. How many of you believe it is the will of God to prosper you? How many of you believe you can do more for the kingdom in the presence of abundance? Even though some of you, the way you are, you will backslide when God blesses you. But that's why you are in church. We are here to help you. But how many of you believe in all fairness that many issues in your life will come to a... a a, an end with full stop in front of it when God solves your problem financially how many of you agree that most of what you have written in your prayer request now is largely finances look up everybody what does it take to live where you are to the next level on the part of God power on your part anger and hunger two things anger and hunger are required ingredients to break through your current season if you are not angry enough you will remain there giving excuses and if you are not hungry enough you cannot be filled man of god you will remain at that level of the anointing praying for 100 people and having only one person getting healed it won't work that way the nations won't place a demand upon you that way. That is the honest truth. Professional. Uh-uh. Not at that level. Someone is going to pray. Father, I am tired of this level. I am both angry at this level. Thank you for this level. But Lord, I know that I am overdue. When a baby stays more than nine months, in his mother's womb he calls for concern when a baby stays in his mother's womb if it is before nine months that's fine the baby has to be patient but above nine months doctors will tell us there is a problem lift your voice and pray
bring a performance oh god at another level bring a performance in ministry bring a performance in family bring a performance in my finances bring a performance in my destiny empowerment from heaven the grace that turns dreams to their reality outside are you praying inside are you praying Sata branda gata katosko toprash ela kata branda zagatesh kalika proska sinekata manda praka toshko dobla zikete breskia of the Holy Ghost coming upon your life hallelujah hallelujah please listen when God answers your prayer how does he answer it by giving you power God answers prayer by sending power the power that turns that desire to its reality now listen i'm going to pray on your prayer request but before i start ministry you are going to pray on it by yourself and declare that lord in this season this and that and that make your request known as you pray please do not keep quiet And don't say God cannot do it all. Don't entertain unbelief. You don't have to lift it up. Even if it's written somewhere, you just begin to pray. Mention everything by name. Father, it is within your power to make great. It is within your power to prosper. It is within your power to lift. Someone pray. hallelujah please hear me listen carefully please in the name of jesus can i tell you i know definite times in my life where certain levels of empowerment came and i knew the change when we started this work you see and i say this with every sense of responsibility and humility as at the time this work started this thing called the power to get wealth was not there. There were ideas. I was reading materials and learning because I knew that doing ministry with integrity will need resources. And I didn't want to go around inconveniencing people every day. God's people will give, but church can't be about money every time. And then you can't be demanding money from people and not release the grace that empowers them. Do you know, let me tell you, when the anointing of god rests upon people who truly love you and they are blessed you don't even have to ask them for anything they will be too grateful to live they will never allow you to beg for tea and bread not with them there are people who have the heart to give listen something is about to fall here right now that's why i wanted to listen i remember praying and studying i had learned principles and a day came i had to study the life of abraham david and study these people i said i found a missing link i was already anointed though but just because you have the anointing is not like a general purpose tool uh -uh. the anointing is assignment specific the anointing for prosperity will not bring healing no 
their allocations are different you can have a first aid box with many drugs they are all called drugs you cannot carry the drug for high blood pressure and swallow it for headache you are causing trouble the design they are all drugs you go to a doctor a professional and he will diagnose you oh you have malaria he will give you the drugs for malaria even if you have malaria and another sickness most times doctors will choose which one to treat first when you are fine they will change the drug and treat the other thing many of you have received many impartations you can know the one that is missing this night don't keep quiet but as far as god spoke to me oh this issue of the power to prosper i've done teachings on prosperity many of you have given but i want you to be angry know that god is able to help men you are ebenezer ah. you are ebenezer this i know about the helper of men you are Ebenezer You are Ebenezer Listen You are Ebenezer The lifter of men You are Ebenezer God can help men stop struggling alone You are Ebenezer You are Ebenezer I remember praying and crying to God and say, Lord, this work is enormous. The apostolic and the prophetic ministry requires a lot. Let this grace for God's sake, come upon my life and also come upon this vision. The power to prosper can be on you as a man of God and not be on your ministry. You will prosper while the ministry suffers. The power to prosper can be on the ministry and not on you. The ministry will prosper and leave you to suffer and you will start compromising. Can I tell you this? When that grace came, with all due respect and honor to Jesus, I knew it has come to stay. The Bible says, listen, it says on the day of Pentecost, all of a sudden they saw what looked like cloven tongues and it came and rested or sat. It didn't visit and go back. There are graces that can sit and rest on you. When it stays on you, that is it. I submit to you with all humility every devil and every principality from hell knows that this is a ministry God has helped the ministry is not the building the ministry is you and you must answer that name this night in the name of Jesus Christ it does not matter what spirit of poverty has tied down people in your family you saw people educated to phd but they could not build a single house that is a wicked spirit when your level of intellectual investment does not match your financial rewards something is wrong with that equation and then number two we are going to pray that god will move us do you know let me tell you this any sincere man of God who loves his people your greatest joy is not your personal testimony if someone buys me a car today or buys me a plane or builds me a house thank God for all of that but that is not really the testimony I'll come and share here my greatest joy today is to sit down and hear people saying I came from a family with nothing serving idols and now I am on fire for Jesus loving Jesus and see what God has done that's right now that's a testimony you must be a wicked leader to rejoice over your results as above and against the people God has sent you to the real joy of a leader is not his personal testimony but to know that God's people are growing in leaps and bounds can I tell you man of god this may be a secret for you to learn when there are genuine testimonies not stage managed not exaggerated 
genuine workings of God's power in your ministry, it is impossible for that ministry to be empty. Lord, lift me up and let me stand by faith on heaven's stable land. A higher place than I have found. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. The last prayer, and then it will be a very quick one in this place tonight. Father, I vow that as you cause me to be great, it will not distract my work with you. Rather, it will give me an opportunity to serve your purposes. Lift up your voice and pray that sincere prayer. Someone is praying. Pray and let my God surprise you tonight. Pray and let the one who backs us up surprise you tonight. Lord, that my greatness will not be an interruption to my spiritual life. It will not be an interruption to my love and my fire for you. That is usually the condition. If the nations will see him through your greatness, if the nations will know him through your greatness, then there is no limits to what he can do. If that greatness will not bring pride, arrogance, Hallelujah. I wish I had the liberty to share some of my testimonies. But sometimes we live in a world where people misunderstand everything men of God say. Once you say A, people will say you said A to Z. And it, it turns out to not even edify people again. But I will tell you one or two. Listen carefully. I remember a time when a real estate company came and met me and they said sir God gave us an instruction that everywhere on earth we build an estate that will build a house for you it's our covenant with God anywhere on earth across the globe for as long as this company exists just know that anywhere you see us building an estate I don't know how many estates they have built now across the world if if you tell me the power to prosper does not work think again hallelujah i remember a company of wealthy people who came and met me and said apostle god said we should make you a non-executive board member of this company what for what do you people do this and that and that and that this is the instruction God gave. So what will be my contribution to your company? That spiritual advantage. You represent the ark of God to our business. I'm sorry, yo. I'm sorry. You see, this is why sometimes some, it's good to say certain things to just help you know that the man standing before you here is not talking nonsense. Let me tell you, if you think this is just a preacher's talk motivating you, think again. I submit to you with all humility what it takes to run koinon one koinonia service is what many people may use for conferences believe me when I tell you what it takes to run one koinonia service you've never seen anybody come here to cry to manipulate to say this and that you see when God sends a word to Jacob he lights upon Israel we are not the inventors of these things we also received it from the carriers he said go to them that sell and buy <laughs> hallelujah our world today only wants people to brag once you are bragging and making noise doing a lot of things aha uh -huh. but once you are modest and humble and you live your life with modesty sometimes we say these things not to attract conflict
that every devil in hell knows that till Jesus comes, this ministry will not know poverty. Just believe me when I tell you. No, 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 no. It's not a prayer point. I'm telling you what has happened. It will only be from glory to glory. It's not pride. Please, I'm sorry if it looks like I'm arrogant. I'm only describing for you what must start happening in your life from this night. Yeah. Apostle, I'm coming from a background where nobody knows me. Apostle, right now, as I'm standing here, I'm in debt of one billion, five hundred million. Fine rest. You are not the first to get into debt. Please. There are people who have been into debt of billions of dollars and God brought them out. Find rest. Can I tell you, for anyone who is owing here, business is not what you use to solve debt. Prophecy. Go and read your Bible. Every time you are in debt, let me save you trouble. It's not doing another business that will bring you out. It is the power of prophecy. Alas, master, for it was borrowed. We are here for you. Come and do what you do. We are here for you. Come and do what you do. Set our hearts on you. So you do what you do. We need a more. Hallelujah. At the count of three, we are going to pray. In fact, please, my people, hold your hands. Let me start with you people. This is my dear leaders. Look at me. In the name of Jesus, may this power to prosper come on you. Take that place right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I release you to strange dimensions of prosperity and increase that people will arise and begin to help you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead, in the name of Jesus, be shifted to a new level, mysterious dimensions of kingdom wealth, even by the power of God. Now I decree and declare, at the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. Please bring those under the anointing. Some of you come from families where nobody has risen. My God is about to lift you. Are you ready now? Father, may this anointing, this man to come upon your people. Please bring them out. At the count of three. One, two, three. Shout Jesus. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. Bring them out, please. Take that grace now. I lift you by prophecy. From where you are, I shift you to a new season. Please help those, my God. Please, whether you're an usher or not, just help the ushers. We have to hurry up now. Someone's life is changing. I don't care what financial situation. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, such as I have, give I unto you. Step into a new season of prosperity. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Lord, you are changing my life, changing my story. Please bring them out very quickly. Let's hurry up. If you can, as many as you can. If you can't bring them out, that's all right. But we have to hurry up. Someone pray. Don't wait till you fall under the anointing. Open your mouth and begin to pray. A renaissance of financial possibilities. From your lowly estate, my God is lifting you. Hallelujah. Where's Jimmy? Please arrange for him to come and sing that song, The Lifter of Men. Just the chorus. David, you help, whether it's a guitar or whatever. If the keyboardist cannot play, let someone help him very quickly, please. Please bring them out quickly.
bring them out my god something is breaking out here outside inside those following from any nation the power of god to lift and to prosper is resting upon you Hear me. Hear me. Some of you, by reason of this anointing, I'm seeing at least 13 people. At least 13 people. At least 13 people. Your destiny is not even in this country. This is what I'm seeing as God is showing me. Right now, that anointing is going to come upon you. Don't ask me how it will happen. Parante shekete balata. I relocate you now by prophecy. Go to your place of prophecy. Go to your place of destiny. I pick you a bacato scatter from where you are. The land where you must prosper. May my God take you there now. May my God take you there now. is not here i'm saying it again anyone here whichever nation and whichever region where your prosperity is tied i shift you by prophecy go to that region now i release you let the limitations leave you now It is a dangerous thing to be in a place and there are people who are watching me you are outside this nation but your destiny is in this nation you are roaming around across the globe and finding out that even when you go to a place of plenty there is no peace because you must be in your assigned place i relocate you back to your place of assignment Can I tell you this? Hear me. Hear me. All through my time of ministry, I'd been in Zaria. I'd become so emotionally connected there. But I knew when the season was done for my assignment there. It was a very difficult thing. But I knew that if I do not move where God is moving, as far as my assignment is concerned, some of you, this is the simple key you came to receive. You can be roaming about. There are some of you who want to travel abroad. It's not in the blueprint of your destiny. You may visit and come back. But just because you hear that people are roaming around, there are still people suffering in every nation. Don't just emotionally enter the plane and go and die. My life will soon reveal You are the lifter of men lifter of men I will hold on now hear me I want to pray for those who are in any kind of financial trouble watch the power of prophecy bring you out of any financial situation hear me there are people some of you are owing some of you made careless business decisions and as it is right now it is only the god of heaven who can lift you i have prayed for your spiritual life and i'll pray again but this night we want to deal with these things some of you are under corporate debt you may not be the individual in trouble but you are under corporate debt. Your organization is owing all kinds to the millions and billions. 
God can help men. Can I pray for you? Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, by this anointing, anyone here who is in any kind of debt or financial situation, personally, corporately, ministries that are owing and are in trouble, businesses that are owing and are in trouble, individuals that are owing and are in trouble, in the name of Jesus Christ, come out of that debt now. Come out of that debt now. By the ministry of destiny, help us. Come out of that debt now. Hallelujah. There are spirits that have moved from family to family, ensuring everybody remains poor. A family of everyone educated, nobody working. Everyone educated, nobody. The highest salary may be 20,000. Yes, we are grateful, but that cannot be enough. Now I want to pray. Fire will come upon you. God is going to set you free. Because there are many, hear me. Your salvation tonight is not just for you alone. It's for your family members. There are many of you, I decree and declare, any family here under a spiritual yoke maybe something happened in time past and a cause or a pronouncement was made over your family that keeps recycling poverty and financial struggles right now at the count of three please bring them under the anointing as you shout jesus that altar will catch fire now please bring them out are you ready one two three shout jesus I break financial yokes. Please bring them out. I break financial yokes. Every spirit recycling patterns of poverty. Every spirit. Whether you are an usher or not, please help those under the anointing. Every spirit outside, inside, following online, responsible for lack and poverty and want. As the church of the Lord Jesus Christ and by the blood of the eternal covenant, we set you free tonight. 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 Open your mouth in one minute and begin to pray. I release myself from every embargo. Someone pray. I decree and declare a prophetic release. Every embargo, every yoke. He tied down my father. He tied down my grandfather. He tied down wicked people. I am a righteous man in Christ. And I decree and declare that by the blood of the eternal covenant, I appropriate my healing and my deliverance. One more minute, you are praying. I break free from this embargo. I break free from this embargo. I break free from this embargo. I break free. Financial embargo, I cost you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please look up. By the privilege of God's grace, I've had the honor of meeting and learning from extremely wealthy people. Extremely wealthy people. I am not in ignorance. I submit to you by the privilege of God's grace as to the financial principles and the systems that make for the blessing. This prayer and this miracle service is by no means excusing your, your fortitude to comply with financial principles that bless you but let me tell you something and let me teach you something there are only two ways financial resources will enter your life only two ways number one value that is exchanged number two favor that is it there is no other way financial resources will enter your pocket your value packaged and turned into products and services 
garnish with excellence and serve to a a targeted consumer base that's what you call business that is one dimension but then the other is called favor i want to show you how god restored job job 42 verse 10. my life will soon reveal you are the lifter of men the lifter of men i will hold on through the storm this is for someone i will hold on through the rain my life will soon reveal you are the lifter of men lifter of sing it one more time as a prophecy that i will hold on to the storm uh, i will hold my life will soon reveal you are the lifter of men the lifter of men can i tell you this there is no one here under the sound of my voice or will there ever be whose situation is worse than that of job let me show you what god can do and the lord turned the captivity of job when he prayed for his friends also the lord gave job twice as much as he had thank god for that but we want to know how it happened are you ready next verse verse 11. <laughs> read with me if you're a christian one to read hold on hold on hold on are you seeing how god restored him number one then came to him all his brethren every next level and finances you are trusting god for is in the hands of men until the men come you cannot get what is in their hands it says then there came unto him where were they when he was crying the bible says god turn so how does god turn he places something upon your life that will start compelling people to start coming there came unto him his brethren and all his sisters and they that had been of his acquaintance before they were the ones that made him prosper before that means how did poverty come to his life something was taken away from him and everybody left physically how did god restore it something came i'm i'm showing you because it's something is about to come on you now please read it are you ready one to read then came there unto him all his brethren uh-huh and all his sisters and they that had been of his acquaintance before and did eat bread with him in his house and they bemoaned him and comforted him over all the evil that the lord had brought upon him now here's the secret read and every man how many men there is something that comes on you that makes every man bless you not just those who do business with you every man every man read on please want to go every man also gave him a piece of money and everyone an earring of gold can i tell you this some of you have gone through serious financial hardship god organized this miracle service to bring financial healing to bring financial deliverance and i'm showing you how it happened because we are going to pray now i've taught you the ministry of destiny help us these are men anointed commissioned by god to pay attention to your destiny not everyone is a destroyer there are people who can enter your life like they entered the life of that my gentleman and turn his life around who would have told him that a year before or two years before there were people in that football field before he came it is what is on you that controls what is around you every man gave him a piece of money every man gave him a piece of money and everyone an earring of gold father who have you anointed in this season to hold my hands and move me to the next financial level i declare place the grace upon my life that will bring them to my destiny open your mouth and pray place that grace this is a miracle service make sure you are praying
place that grace upon my life oh god that will compel the helpers of my destiny to attend to me place that grace upon my life Forget about where you have been. Pray. pray I will hold on through the storm I will hold on to your word my story is about to change you are the lifter of men the lifter of men Lord I will hold on to the storm I will hold on to your word My life will soon reveal You are the lifter of men Hear me, believers, in the name of Jesus Please listen to me I submit to you by God That there are more than enough people in any city to be used by God to lift you nobody will come and lift you on their own I've told you this there is the power that rests upon your head thou anointest my head with oil my cup runneth over in this kingdom who hates you does not matter but who likes you matters please place your hand on your head Just place your hand on your head father this is a miracle service where you are sorting people financially once and for all my god and my king upon every head right here inside all the overflows outside i am praying lord the grace that must rest upon them that will compel the helpers of destiny to gravitate towards them in the name of Jesus may that anointing rest upon you now may that anointing rest upon you now in the name of Jesus hallelujah please put down your hands who is Christy I'm hearing the name Christy my assignment tonight is to deal with the issues Christy who is that where are you coming from I want to pray for you I presume there may be many Christies but your life is about to change and in case I'm prophesying to people you open your heart and receive what God says to one he says to all are we together I don't mean to embarrass you but please hear me there's a prophetic word I won't ask the person to come out for social reasons there is a lady here a man kept you in a house hold on now let me finish the prophecy you don't know what I'm about to say just hold on let's be patient and let prophecy finish before so that you don't answer yes to something that a man kept you in a house listen to me that man is married with his wife but he kept you in a house somewhere you are in, in a relationship with the man and he kept you in a house somewhere I want you to know that that man is going to destroy you he has lied to you and made you believe that if he does not help you where will you get help I'm advising you in this miracle service in the name of Jesus and with every sense of responsibility I know it is not easy it's easy to tell people you are working in this and that you must be ready to help people when you want them to make that decision but let me tell you whoever that person is i'm speaking to you by the spirit i want you to pack out of that place because with what i'm seeing 
that man did not just keep you there there is something occultic that he's doing there you hear what i'm saying i'm speaking to you by the spirit of god back out of there he may be giving you 10 naira but he's taking the glory of what two million from you and we have to be careful as believers sometimes you know why it is important to empower believers like this because if we don't empower believers when people are desperate they will do anything for money they will come to church and remove the 10 percent and drop it but they know where they got it from so it's not enough to just criticize people and say you are this you are following men you are following women you are following whatever no 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 we have to empower people first then we'll tell them this is how it is done in the kingdom there are many parents today who are enjoying a lot of financial blessings from their children and dancing and they do not know the dirty and demonic things their children are doing to bring money and it's easy to insult them like we always like doing in church when we hear of people's situations who are not rational to sit down and think and approach it from a heart of love God brought you people out here by his spirit. I want to pray for you. Madam, your suffering has come to an end this night. Please leave her. Careful, careful, so you don't injure her. I know what I just saw. I want to pray for her. Hi. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. You see, let me tell you something, my dear people. For as long as God brought you here this night, I assure you by God that the power that will stop you from receiving your testimony is not in existence. I'm looking at this woman in a vision and I'm seeing a woman suffering bad luck anybody that says he will bless this woman something must happen to them and they will neglect them if there is anybody like that people keep making promises tomorrow they will say next week they will say whatever is stopping them from reaching out to you I cast it to his root in the name of Jesus I cast it to his root in the name of Jesus hallelujah please don't 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 I, I don't want you to feel offended the, may God bless you madam I want to pray for you I'm seeing a woman you are a widow oh dear this woman has suffered oh this woman you are a widow and if I don't pray for you it's nothing at all is coming from anyone it's as if you don't have children it's as if nothing is happening you are you are quite an aged woman i don't know who that person is the lord is asking me to call that person and let me pray for that person you are a woman an elderly woman you are a widow but honestly as it is sincerely that you love god sincerely but absolutely nothing is happening this woman i'm seeing i know you came out but i'm seeing this woman at the overflow outside the overflow outside the overflow outside I'm not just praying for every widow of course I will pray for you if you come out but the particular person I want to pray for you are outside father you are the God that can open every door there is no mystery as to how finances come it is not magic it will always happen through men the Bible says good measure pressed down shaken together running over shall men give shall men give the lord called that name christy and i want to pray for you for some of you you are standing as altars over your family because god wants to wipe the tears of your family in the name of jesus christ the power of god will come on you right now and believe me the only thing that will bring you up stage here after this prayer is your testimony therefore i stretch my hands right now every embargo up over your finances an anointing is coming on you right now release them now in the name of Jesus Christ release them now in the name of Jesus Christ release them now in the name of Jesus Christ release them now in the name of Jesus I open this door in the spirit and I declare walk into your high places in the mighty name of Jesus Christ hallelujah the Lord is showing me a family here you are owing medical bills 
you are owing as i'm speaking now you are owing medical bills even to the millions you are owing medical bills i don't know who that person is whether you are watching online or you are here it's like there's somebody let me tell you this i'm going to pray for the sick shortly do you know that many manifestations of sickness is actually an attack on your finances it's not about the sickness because there is a relationship between your health and your wealth the sicker you are the more your finances will tell to so when satan wants to attack your finances one of the ways he does is to plant a mysterious sickness it will not go up it will not go down it will remain there and keep eating finances if there is anything i know that can destroy finances overnight is health no matter how wealthy you think you are pray that you are not plagued or somebody around you plagued there are people who spend as much as a million naira every week to be alive if you have saved even if it's hundred million in how long we would have depleted everything people have had to sell their houses because of finances people have had to sell everything they spent their life building hear me God is able to lift you from that yoke I will be praying for we are not going to take testimonies that our time is gone we may not take testimonies of people to pray tonight I want to deal because we've not even gotten to greatness I must spend the next 15 minutes and flog this thing out it must step over your life honor and greatness we are dealing with finances Now, let me tell you this. Do you know, any day you see any widow or someone who is genuinely bereaved and incapacitated, even if it is 10 naira you can give them, it is a blessing unto God. You see that? Remember the widow at Nain? She had lost all the men in her life. Her husband, a symbol of her strength and defense, had gone. And now her child, who represented her future, was also gone when Jesus saw her condition he said no we can't leave you this way and he brought up the child nobody prays to lose anyone but if and when it happens it is important to stand with them and stand by them to pray God is able to help we can't promise you that every day everybody will be giving you money but we can promise you that something can be placed upon your life that will insist and ensure that you are not left without help let me pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ my dear look at me you're a widow you are standing for who your mom where is she don't cry Jesus is able to help you you see let me tell you this you can't comfort people who mourn when your hand is empty I hope you know that because after you pray for them and do whatever you do some of them will stand and they're expecting that even if it's 10 naira you put something in their pocket and it's easy for us to make a lot of noise in church and talk and say this and that and that God will do it you must reject poverty in your life there's no reason why you should remain the way you are not after this miracle service father I pray for these ones you are the only one who knows how it feels oh god but in the name of jesus by your spirit you call them out to change their lives and i pray right now in the name of jesus christ turn their lives around release that grace upon them your physical husbands may have gone but may god become that husband for you and ensure that your needs are supplied to the latter in the name of Jesus I decree and declare that the hand of God rests upon your life I don't know but I just feel in my heart to say this and I say it respectfully anyone here who is a widow or who has lost a loved one and there are people who are troubling you in the name of Jesus Christ we agree right now may the troublers of your destiny go now
now you see anybody who troubles a woman who does not have strength on her own under normal circumstances must be a wicked person don't cry in the name of Jesus I'm praying again anyone who is troubling you maybe something you labored with your husband to get and now just because he's gone people are bullying you and bringing all kinds of trouble I stand by the apostolic and the prophetic I decree and declare may your troublers depart from you right now in the name of Jesus Christ by the power that raised Christ from the dead I use this once in front to pray for every other person and I decree in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God that anyone who is troubling any widow here and will not let her have peace except otherwise but I pray that if the fault is not from them may God show them mercy immediately in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I pray that every man destined and appointed by God to hold your hands no matter who and what you have lost especially your husbands I pray for you may God raise genuine people with no strings attached who will hold your hands and see that you don't cry again in the name of Jesus Christ amen and amen let's celebrate them as they go god bless you you will return with testimonies in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus are you ready for the next prayer to be great means to live where you are and go to the next level of your life to be great means to rise to a point where you can also be a blessing you can't always be the one looking up you need to rise to a point where you can look down and reach to others hi precious saints we're glad and delighted to have you back on our youtube channel our pouring stream is designed and established just for you to ensure that you don't miss out of every bit of what god is doing in your life in your family in your career upon your health upon your finance most especially your marriage, relationship, ministry, and all your hands may find to do. And that is why we're on this page to ensure the right words get to you from the throne of God and through His servant, Apostle Joshua Selman. We would like you to please join us in this journey as we delve into the fullness of the reality of God to ensure that you become the complete man that God has in His mind. Seeing that eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither has it entered the heart of man what God predestined to do in your life and to bring to pass even in your family, touching your relationship, your marriage, your finance and every other aspect that has to do with your life. This is God's purpose for your life and that is why our body stream is set up to ensure that God visits you despite every troubles in your life, despite what your life may look like currently, no matter what you tend to face, it is our vision to see that you stay revived, you stay blessed, you stay fulfilled, you walk in faithfulness and you come into what God has predestined for your life and for your future. To do this, we also love you to keep updated with us and by also staying in tune to also ensure that every of our uploads gets to you and this can be done when you turn on the notification bell on our YouTube channel to help you to get notified every time there is a new upload from us and also that would help you to become partakers of the company of the great like the book of Psalms said say God sent forth his word great for the company of those that publish it you publishing this video by simply sharing this video to your loved ones family and friends in other words you come into the economy of the greatness of what God have in stock for you love you so much we truly love you so much and we like to see you in our next video and hopeful to see that you become part of our community by subscribing to our youtube channel thank you so so much don't forget to leave us a comment in the comment section box tell us what god is doing in your life through the videos that you have watched and also god's blessing abundance in your life god's healing power the salvation story feel free to let us know 
we'll be glad to receive your comments as a proof that God indeed is faithful and keeping to his word. Thank you so much. God bless.